Welcome back. Today we are doing Wendy's. I have the Baconator fries, the Baconator burger, and a 10 piece chicken nugget um, with barbecue sauce. I also have a Diet Coke to drink. feel like I don't drink enough at work, so I'm so parched on Fridays when I get home. All right, you guys, I wanna go ahead and take a bite of this burger. Today has been such a long day. I'm so tired and mentally exhausted. It's super late and I shouldn't be eating this. I've got to be back really early in the morning. Mm. How was everyone's day? I think Wendy's has some of the best barbecue sauce. Mm. Oh my gosh, you guys. So today at work, you all know I work in retail, right? We've been getting hit hard lately with a lot of people stealing fragrance. Well, this guy came in and he wanted to return some fragrances. Well, with my company, if you don't have a receipt and you don't have an account with us, you can't really return anything because we don't know the value that you paid for it or that you even bought it from us. And I just knew that he was a part of that whole ring. Um, so he just started getting really upset, cursing, throwing F-bombs everywhere, you guys. I was like, well, you can call customer service. Like, that's our policy. So then he got on the phone with them, which I don't even know why he bothered because he knew what the answers were going to be. Like, I gave him his options. Raising his voice, like literally just everything under the sun you could think of this man was saying. Disrespectful. So finally, he says something that triggers me. Because I know the law pretty well. You know, you can have freedom of speech. So you can say things like, if you're out, you can say, you're this or you're that. Like you can call people names. But what you can't do is you can't threaten people. So when he said, I had to beat all y'all's asses, that's when I shut down and I'm like, nope, the service stops here. And so I went to go call the police. Like, you're not going to say that to me or my employees. And he was talking that way to the customers too, you guys. Mmm. So I got to file a police report today. <laughs> Don't you love doing that? And if he ever comes back, I'll have you arrested for trespassing. But you cannot threaten people, you guys. I don't care how big of a scene you cause. 
You're not gonna stop your feet and get your way, I'm sorry. And I might be little compared to like guys, guys. But I'm not intimidated. Like you're not gonna bark at me. Cause it's gonna be even worse if you try to do something to me. Because then you're just gonna Ooh. go to jail, maybe prison. This is so good. But can you believe that? Like, who does that, you guys? And he was like a big guy, like, screaming at the top of his lungs. So when I'm on the phone with the police, I walk you over to my girl and I'm like, hey, just give him the bottle of cologne that he wants and like let him, like get him out. Like I'd rather take the hit on this bottle of fragrance than have you still be in my store yelling and crying. So then she gives it to him, he's still on the camera like just bussing and going. I'm like, the police either need to get here or he just needs to leave. So he finally left and then that was that. But if I ever see him again, I don't want to have to use my karate skills. Glad you guys. <laughs> An article popped up on my phone earlier <clears throat> about the coronavirus and how a lot of Chinese factories are shut down. And out of everything, you guys. The big concern and worry is, is that a lot of wedding dresses are made in China and that there will be a lot of unhappy brides. Like that's what we're really worried about. Excuse me. We can't manufacture wedding gowns. That just made me laugh. But I hope you guys had an amazing Friday and less dramatic than mine. Mm. Coral Blush and I were talking the other day about our, self, our tanning. I got this to try Coral. It's by Tanologist, one hour express tan. I'll let you know how, it, well, you let me know how it looks. I'll probably do it tomorrow afternoon.
was gonna make the rest of those chicken wings tonight, y'all. But it's too late. And they take too long to cook. Um, I drank this whole soda. I normally never finish one of these. That's how thirsty I was. Um, so, yeah, I didn't, I'm going to make the rest tomorrow. And then I'm going to do Nutrisystem again, you guys. So I'll be doing my Nutrisystem meals with y'all for the next month. The food should arrive. I don't know, maybe like 10 days. But I want to get back to 180. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep. I'm just kidding. I'm so tired, y'all. Like, emotionally exhausted. And then a lot of people called out today, so there was, like, not enough cashiers. Mmm. Just one lady. She was literally in the store 20 minutes after the store closed with like a huge shopping bag of stuff. Only one in the store. But finally she gets up to the register. Her total's like $900. Her cards decline. She tries another one, it's declined. She tries another one, it's declined. And literally every card she tried was like declined. She's like, oh. She's like, can I just put all this on hold and come back tomorrow? I'm like, well, we can play hold it until the end of the night. She's like, oh. And then I was going to make an exception for her. You know. I'm like thinking like, well, what time do you plan on coming back? And she's like, well, I would come in the morning, but I like to sleep in. So maybe like four. And I was like. I knew I made a little face because she was like, is that too late? But she was all over the place. So then she's like, oh, well, then can I just take a picture of what's in the bag so when I come back, I can just get it all? So then she pulls out her phone and her phone is like busted station, like cracked all over the place. It didn't turn on when she tried to turn it on. So then she was like, took a picture with her fingers and was like, okay, I took a picture of it. I was just looking at her heart and like, are you on drugs? I'm telling you guys, I know it's a crescent moon. You would have thought it was a full moon. All right, everyone. I'm really, really, really going to go to bed this time. I'm so full. I'm going to try to watch a couple of videos of y'all. Um, if you are a content creator before I go to bed and get my YouTube videos in, um, you guys know that I all love you so much and, um, I don't know, I'm going to try to film tomorrow, but I will see you then. Bye.